Welcome, uh, welcome to uh, next version edition of our talkies uh, from Compendial. Um, my name is Michael Hartman. Uh, I'm running marketing portfolio, ISV and uh, training in uh, Compendial. And I have with me now Dennis, Dennis Schulte, um, our regional lead for the German speaking area. So Germany, Austria, Switzerland. Welcome, Dennis. Hi, Michael. So one of the big topics we had in the past um, few weeks is AIM um, from Microsoft, an initiative for migration, accelerate, innovate and move. And Microsoft doubled down and provided a lot of funding opportunities for partners, so much and so many that it might seem a bit overwhelming and actually quite complex in you know, this whole context of incentives and different offerings that partners might have. I know you had a lot of these discussions lately, um, Dennis, and um, I think it would be great if you could let us know a bit what is really important, what should partners really focus on if they look at the AIM initiative and the funding behind it? Uh, you're right, Michael. It's meanwhile quite complex uh, what is outside from Microsoft in the incentive world. If we only focus on AIM, what is really in AIM? I would say what's meanwhile a bit complicated sometimes it's that AIM is twofolded. There was one announcement with a workshop you can do where you get a fixed payout of $1,500. You can do an assessment with your customer there you get $3,500 as a maximum. And now there's a deployment offer. It's not with fixed amounts. It depends a bit on the size of the customer, but it's three fundings with the umbrella AIM. And it's already the order you should use it. First, the fixed workshop, then the assessment, and then the deployment offer at the end. And the money we spoke about with the $5,000 in total is for market A, where most of the European countries are in. So that's the maximum you can get out. And what's very important, the first two offerings within AIM are fixed payouts. So per customer, 5K. Okay, so that's relatively easy. Do the workshop, do the assessment, for the deployment offer. Great, and are these then valid for all customers and all partners that can tap into? Yeah, it would be maybe a bit wrong just to say, yes, of course it is. So the aim from Microsoft is to really fund as much as possible, but you as a partner, you have to be eligible to get those fundings to stick to the procedures Microsoft has in the whole incentive world. And that's very important that you have a solution designation as for incentive, it's, it's more and more important that the old legacy competencies are not valid any longer, or only a super minor amount of legacy competencies. It's more and more focusing on the solution designations and that is the core requirement you need to have. Great, so go for the solution designation, then you're safe and you can access all of these um, all of these funding models, but why would you say is it so important now for partners to really go after migrations and not, you know, park them anymore? Yeah, let's take the uh, example that you can get 5k per customer in market A, so European mm -hmm. countries. If you only have 10 on-premise customers, it would already be a 50K fixed payout you can get. Mm. So it's a lot of funding you can invest into the relationship with your end customer to avoid any situation where maybe your competition, which already has a solution designation or is still eligible for those fundings, they go out and say, dear customer, I do it for free because Microsoft loves you as a customer and wants to invest into your future development. And then the customer calls you and asks like, hey, Michael and you, do you give me the same funding? No, I can't give you funding, but you can just uh, pay my invoice and then we are ready to go. So it's very important that this business chance, which is really lying on the street, so to speak, uh, you should really use as a partner because it's really a huge amount of fixed money you can get from Microsoft. It's fixed money and uh, the customers, they do want to go into the cloud yeah. because they do see all this new shining world of co-pilot and artificial intelligence and they want to run for it. But then the question is, if, if you're a partner and you're still a bit overwhelmed with all these offerings and how to structure that and how to run these workshops and the assessments and what can you do? Yeah, one thing you can do 
go into a deep dive with also official Microsoft documentation. I guess it's meanwhile close to 200 pages, so it will take a time. Um, make it easier. Just give us a call. The colleagues are there to help and support you as a partner. They are trained to all those incentive stuff. And uh, then it's really, really more easy for you to just pick what's really important in the journey where you as a partner, but even your customer is, if it makes sense, pre-sales, post-sales activities and all those stuff. Or if it's on a premise customer, then AIM is definitely the right funding you should have a look into. And it's, by the way, not only for NAV, it's for all the other uh, workloads on-premise dynamics as well. So even CRM on-premise, AX on-premise, and all the other stuff around. Okay, very good. Well, so um, I think that is a good advice and I think um, can take out uh, some of the complexity that partners might see in all the latest announcement. So thanks, uh, Dennis, for clarifying that for us. Yeah. And um, if you're you... more than welcome. And maybe Thank if you... I'm allowed, one maybe tip, I can add on top the solution designation. If you are not there yet, 50% of the minimum points you need to get for it comes from skilling. So there are skilling offerings outside our learning journeys. Excellent example as a perfect start. If you want to train your own people from an organizational point of view, um, reach out to the colleagues. 50% yep. of the minimum points we are skilling. You need no customer for it. It's only planning and of course, motivated people who wants to learn something new. No, that's great. So it's doable is, is I think, the, the message. So thanks again. Um, thank you for listening. And uh, as Dennis said, please contact us if you have any questions, any considerations around the AIM initiative and the AIM funding that Microsoft is providing today. Thank you so much. You're most welcome.